Princeton University just cracked the code to super intelligence, and it's not what you think. They built an AI that outsmarts the world's best doctors. But here's the twist. They did it by going completely against what everyone else is doing. See, big tech has been burning billions trying to build one massive AI that knows everything. Google, OpenAI, Meta, they're all racing to create this giant digital brain. But Princeton said, what if that's totally wrong? Instead of teaching an AI everything at once, like forcing a toddler to learn rocket science, they did something radical. They trained it exactly like we train human doctors. First, they built a medical knowledge graph. Imagine Wikipedia, but every medical fact is connected like neurons in a brain. 24,000 connections, linking every disease to its symptoms, every treatment to its outcomes. Then, and this is genius, they made the AI learn step by step. Anatomy first, then physiology, then pathology, just like med school. The result? QWQ Med 3. This thing demolished GPT-5. On the hardest medical exams that make human doctors sweat, QWQ scored 96%. The next best AI, 73. But here's what's insane. QWQ is tiny. While ChatGPT needs server farms the size of warehouses, QWQ could run on your gaming PC. And it gets better as problems get harder. Other AIs choke on complex cases. QWQ thrives on them. Think about this. We've been trying to build one AI to rule them all, but Princeton just proved we don't need artificial general intelligence. We need artificial expert intelligence. Imagine an AI surgeon that never makes a mistake, or an AI researcher that cures cancer, each one superhuman in its field. And when these specialized AIs work together, that's when we hit the singularity. Not through one megabrain, but through a civilization of AI experts. This isn't sci-fi. QWQ Med 3 is already being tested in hospitals. The paper dropped yesterday. The code? Open source. We are witnessing the birth of superhuman intelligence, and it's happening through specialization, not generalization. Because what Princeton just proved, superintelligence isn't coming. It's here. It just looks different than we expected.